What's that weird noise? Ah! <laughs> oh, Kenzie's recording this. So, King, you plan ready to go? Sure thing. Let's do this. What was that? I don't know. Maybe Kenzie's futzing with the line. Do me a favor. Get everyone to Kenzie's place. I'll be there soon. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. Still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zinn are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Everyone keep taking away my superpowers. The hell did they find us? Who cares? Let's just kill them. It's better than everyone. Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Fine. Before we do anything, we need some breathing room. Let's take out those tanks.
to look for a hard fight. anyone learn To the roof! Pierce and I will hold him here. Just get everyone else to safety, player. We got this! Oh, how do we run? I'm down for some murder. Ben says he has a plan. We need to lose this heat and then... Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. Yo, Pierce and Ben are getting into that car. Let's cover them. On it. Kinsey, where to? Okay, um, hold on, I'm scanning. Scan fast. Yo, these Zen have some high-tech shit. What's their arsenal like? Oh, the Zen have all kinds of cool stuff. I wish I could get into their armory and see what their prototype They even have murder bots. Murder bots? Now that's my kind of household appliance. Spaceship! We're not going to my place.
Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Okay, I found somewhere for us to... Oh no! We're going down! Everybody hold on! Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? A cat? Fuck, of all the... Some Genkies? Seriously? Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. Kenzie, find us a way out. On it. Ooh, is that a killing floor? Merry Christmas to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kenzie, what uh-oh? Boss, the game is on. It started by itself. I can't shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. The floor is active and the doors are locked. Nobody gets out. Including us. Until that is, the contestants rack up enough points to fill the murdometer. Shit, I'm down. Let's do this. All hail to me. Look at all the contestants today. And all new targets as well. The Zen Empire have taken it upon themselves to face the challengers. Truly, a bold move on their part. You're not kidding. The Zen are the fiercest opponents in the universe, Bobby. They should be a tough fight for the Saints. Yes, indeed. The Zen are falling before the might of these contestants. They sure are. Look at how they're mowing down the opposition. Goes to show you how much having a team behind you can really come in handy. <laughs> I wish we had a team behind us. What we have is the love and support of Zinyak. What else could we possibly need? <laughs> Nothing at all, Bobby. Nothing at all. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Bobby, look, Professor Genki has entered the arena. Always a special occasion when the professor takes the stage. Let's watch the master at work. That's Genki, huh? Yeah, he looks crazy. Aim for his big, stupid head. Boss, he's kind of helping us. Die, you fucking man cat. Good shot by the contestant. Genki's sure gonna feel that one. It takes a particularly skilled player to take on Professor Genki. Especially after facing the considerable might of the Zen Empire. Of which we are required to extol the virtues. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Genki is down. Down, but never out, Zack. So true, Bobby. So true. Is that all? Looks like it. Oh, my gosh. What, more of them? Let's get to the prize room. That was fun. They got more games like this in Steelport? So where to? You know, I generally don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Kenzie, focus. What do we do now? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zin know our every move. But you can make sure they don't, right? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Get us to a safe spot so we can get back to the real world. On to the next! Don't worry, 
Not like we need insurance here. I think it's dead now. Hey, player. Pierce and I are pulling out of the simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Where's that static coming from? And how did the Zen find us? I thought your hideout was safe, Kins. Pearson King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the vice president are gone. They kidnapped Keith David and left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinyak. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? You and Gas secure the doors while I check on Kinsey. We'll get you back, Kinsey. Just hang on. You ready? Because we got visitors. the lower decks. We have to hold the room! Fuck that. I'm not waiting for them to come to me. me. What the hell? We're moving. Why are we moving? Let's get to the bridge. Shit, are we driving into the sun? You gotta check the monitors. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. So, what can we do about it? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck! Let's go! Ugh! Get off me! Sandy! Kinsey okay? Everyone's fine. The Zin grabbed me and... Hey, Sid said something about heat signatures? One of them put a device on the wall. I'm not sure what it is. We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. And they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Shandy, go back to Kinsey and the rest. Gat, let's go blow up a spaceship. 
You got a specific thing you want to blow up, but just shit in general. Kenzie, what's the weakest point in the Zen ship? Yo, boss, Kenzie's... Fuck, I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zen sure do make a good argument for murdering him. Oh, they're nothing compared to their leader. I'm gonna enjoy every second of tearing Zenyak apart. Take your time, bro. That sounds like a plan. Get the chance? I'm gonna rip Zenyak's goddamn head off. But where do you think the Zen have Kinsey? I don't know. But when I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of him. So close. Yo, we got some alien gun over here. Hell of a welcome back, huh, Johnny? Fuck, you were thinking I wanted to go to Hawaii or something? I live for this shit. Large red cylinder, huh? Big and glowy. Looks perfect. Here you go. Gotta find something that looks important. This looks important. Let's blow it up. What the fuck was that? Yo, these bombs are hotter than we thought. Let's get the fuck out of here. Zinyak, let's get out of here and find Kenzie. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump! She talked shit in Pakistan, she sucker punched me I can't in. can't believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. 